How's it going, everybody? Jamie Monroe here for another player analysis today. We're doing one on Marie McCool, stud athlete, attacker, lacrosse player from the University of North Carolina, really fired up to check out her game. The first thing that stands out about Marie McCool is just how athletic she is. She's a powerful athlete. She's fast. She's skilled. She's got a great feel for the game. Watch her pumping passes and then getting her stick to her left hand that maximizes her angle as she comes in front of the net. This is a really great play, too, because I watch so much lacrosse in which I see players take the ball and they, they're right-handed and they cut to the middle, like right here, and they end up running into traffic. She's so smart because she takes the ball down the wing even with the elbow, and then she makes moves from there. And this way, she's in shooting range as soon as she gets to the middle as opposed to running into a lot of traffic. Obviously, she's got great speed, but she uses hand switches, the over and back motion of face dodges to freeze her man. She does this all the time. She bounces, she switches hands, and then she makes really quick moves. When I talk about the bouncing part, when you bounce like this, AKA Kayla Trainer, and then you switch hands or bring your stick over and back with face dodge type of motions, it really puts your defender in a position where they freeze sometimes because those bounces are hesitations. Last thing to note is look at her turn the corner, all right? She is a physical dodger. And I'll tell you right now, like, it's not something that's emphasized, in my opinion, enough in women's lacrosse. You have to be physical to the extent that you should probably take some charge calls every now and then. If you're not ever called for a charge call, you're probably not physical enough. All right, watch her bounce in here and then using her hand switches to get her man's shade out of position. Hand switches, turn corners. You know, the one thing that, that I would add here that she could do that I would love to see is that she could pump a pass like right here across the field and it would slow down any potential slider. And in women's lacrosse, they come so early because they have to. They, they, they will slide to you quickly. So if you can fake passes, you'll be able to freeze those slides and buy yourself a couple extra steps. Let's watch this because she gets under. This is called an S dodge. An S dodge is when you get all the way under your man, you split. You get under, and then you get your stick back to your inside hand. And the last thing to note is look at her stick protected and straight up in the air. This gives her an ability to jam that thing to the near side and still reach to the far side. You're going to see the same thing right here. Look at her stick position as she's burying this shot near side. Okay, it's like a twister. Not a whole lot of near side space. And look at her stick right here you can see that she's actually got an angle that is going to maximize her inside pipe. Whereas I see so many players try to shoot near side with their stick angle like that. The old time in room shot, wind up, crow hop, and rip one. Switch hands, hand switch, hand switch, over and back face dodge. So every time you switch hands, the defender has to think that you might be going in that direction. And so she looks, switches, looks, switches, looks, switches, over and back, go. And this is, I call this a Kayla trainer split because she does this all the time. But she brings her stick over, back, and then splits. And that little over and back is a little bit of a hesitation. And you watch the majority of the great women's players in the game do that. Here, a nice little flip play to uh, isolation. And you're going to see that same over and back split right here. Over, back, split. The over back, it's almost like jab steps. Great job handling. Here's the perfect example of how hard she goes. I mean, at the end of the day, how hard Marie McCool goes to the cage is probably her greatest strength. I mean, she goes with abandon, um, but she sees the field, as you can see. I love this play. This is kind of a box lacrosse type of play because she puts it into her right hand, drags a little bit, and feeds it. This is exactly what it looks like when you end up feeding a pick and roll. That's kind of like a little slip. I'm not sure it was one, but that played out the same way. Her head's always up, looking in a feeding position. Great job by the backdoor cutting teammate. Let's look at this stick fake. She fakes the over and cradles it over there, and that holds the girl guarding her on her top side, which gives her the underneath split. So. 
using your stick in these face dodging type of motions as well as hand switching motions are incredibly effective. And you're seeing it again right here. Sick little backhand finish. But watch her come in on this play. Lefty, switch to a right, switch back, and backhand. Well, oh, that's such a nice play. We gotta watch that one one more time. Bouncy. The bounce, the hesitation, the hand switches, keeping people off guard, turning corners, physical, really cool, great player. Thank you.